Welcome to the Rusted Garden. This is a garden experiment that I'm doing in winter and I'm actually growing vegetable seeds in complete darkness. These are peas, these are beets, and again this is an experiment but I, I think it's kind of interesting and I wanted to share it with you. And essentially you're growing sprouts but at the end of this video I'll show you three weeks worth of pea growth and what those plants look like. A couple of things to set up the experiment. This is 100% darkness. Today is the 4th of January. These were planted on December 24th, so that's about 10 or 11 days worth of growth. And a couple of things that I think is, that are interesting, cocoa core, 100% cocoa core in both of these. The plants back here only got a synthetic liquid fertilizer. When I bottomed water, it got uh, the blue liquid fertilizer in the bottom. And you can see these plants are not as strong as these. In this container, it was cocoa core, also synthetic liquid fertilizer in the water, but I added in to the cocoa core this fertilizer. And that's basically my organic mix from the video series I shot several weeks ago. Whatever I didn't use, I put into there. And that contains um, a lot of different things. Epsom salt, eggshells, green sand, blood meal, bone meal, a 251 organic fertilizer, and biozyme product which helps enhance the good bacteria in the soil. Of course, in cocoa core there is no bacteria, so you know maybe that helped in some sort of way. But you can see just how more healthy the plants look that had the organic fertilizer added into the cocoa core. Again, nothing was added into this soil or into this cocoa core. The uh, organic mix that I made was added into there. And just the mix, I couldn't tell you what's 100% in there, but it's a lot less, it's a lot lower strength than what is called for on the packages. So this wasn't overloaded with organic fertilizer in any way, just some was added. You can see even back here, he, these are all beets, and they're not doing as well as the peas. They kind of fall over. But the beets over here didn't even really sprout up yet, but these are you know, filled up all the cells in those containers. So the other thing, and the reason I did the experiment, was more not to see what grew better. I thought they would grow the same, but I was wrong. But with the organic, you can see right in there, here's one. With the organic fertilizers, my concern was that there'd be more mold growth or more fungus growth. And there is a white fungus starting on these in different places. They haven't affected the peas. I think they're going to kill off the beets because they're kind of weak. And I'm going to show you the uh, three-week growth of beets and peas in my other container and you'll understand more what happens with the organic fertilizer. So anyway, you can grow peas in complete darkness. They're delicious. They taste like peas. After about 10 days you have sprouts. And the way to make this economical is to buy like the pound bags worth of peas online or something like that. They really cost, you know, pennies a pea if, if not even, you know, not even that much. Just order, you know, a couple pounds of peas. You can grow them this way, cut them off, and then add them right to your salads or add them in at the end of your stir fries. So this is about 10 days worth of growth. Organic and synthetic fertilizer, much more healthy, much more um, stocky and sturdier, even better color. The yellow is better than the yellow over here. Downside, the organic fertilizer seems to fuel fungus or bacteria growth in the soil. So, again, this is a garden experiment. Just something for you to mess around with on the winter season. Here are the peas that have been growing for about three weeks. And you can see that they're going to keep growing and growing and you can just break them off and actually eat them and put them in your salads. Now, up close, lots of fungus. This was uh, dried cow manure and another starting mix. And it got uh, a white fungus all across. These were beets. You can see some of the remains in here. They all died off and they probably got some sort of damping off disease. There's one little beet surviving in there. Some more of the fungus. Well, I can't take that out. Let's see if I can... You can see the fungus growing right in there. And what I learned is, is you really want a sterile starting mix. If you do add any kind of organic product, there's a chance that it's going to help grow fungus and bacteria on your soil. 
but you can get pea sprouts, grow them completely in the dark, have something for your salads, have something for your stir fries, and it's sort of a fun experiment. Beets didn't work out. I'm going to look for other vegetables that you can grow, and the whole key is to really buy these in pound packages so that it's economical for you to grow your own pea sprouts in complete darkness. Hope you found it interesting. It's just an experiment, something to think about, something to grow. And again, after 10 days, your peas will look like this. Beets didn't quite work out. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.